Hello, welcome to Dali Codes, and I am going to show you how to get prime numbers using Python. And um, the function that we are going to write is a function that is going to extract prime numbers between two integers. Um, let's say you are given a number, the first integer, number one and then number one let's say it is 10 number two the second integer you're given uh, let's say it is 20 and you would like to get the prime numbers that fall between 10 and 20 and uh, 10 and 20 not included so that means we are going to be looking at numbers from 11 to 19 um, so let's look at these numbers for i in range. So from the first number, uh, number one, two, number two. So this one is giving us from 10 to 19, but we don't want to check 10 because we want prime numbers between two numbers. So between 10 and 20, 10 and 20 not included. So we need to skip 10. We're going to add one here. Okay, so we need to return a list of numbers which are prime that fall between 10 and 20 so i'm going to have um for i i'm going to have here for i i is a number and i want to check whether it is prime number or not so we're going to be checking numbers from one to i and we will be dividing these numbers we'll be div dividing i by these numbers and check if i is divisible by the numbers from zero from one to i and uh, by the definition of a prime number in this case i is a number that is divisible by one and itself so if we have a range of numbers from one to i if um, from one to i to i minus one if i is divisible by one we are going to count if i is divisible by two we are going to count so i'm going to say for uh, let's get another variable let me call it um, v uh, in range um, one to i so if v, yeah, if i is divisible by v so we're going to divide it by divide it by v and uh, if the remainder is zero that means that it is divisible by v we count um we count it as one of the numbers that can divide i we count v as one so let's get a variable that will be counting the number We'll be getting the count of the numbers that divide i. So let me call it count divisible, and uh, I give it zero. So if um, i is divisible by v, that means that it is one of the numbers. So we're going to add one to the number of uh, of of to the count of values that um, divide v so count divisible let's equal to one then after checking all the values that um, are between one and i and counting those ones which are divisible so you'll find that um, if, the, the, if the, the number of values that can divide 
i is one then that that um, that that i value that i number is a prime number but if it is something greater than one then it is not prime number remember that with this with this um, for loop here it will move from one to i minus one so we are not looking at i being divisible by one and itself but we're only looking at i being divisible by one because itself is not included this range will run up to i minus one so itself is not included so we are going to say here that if count divisible uh, if count divisible is one then then it is a prime number but we need to get the list of a prime number so we need to have i appended into the list of primes let's create primes here as a list then we're going to append um, i into the prime number so we're going to have primes dot append um, i okay so let's run this and see what will primes give us we are supposed to get the list of prime numbers prime says the list of prime numbers between 10 and 20 okay this is not right so we have a problem okay yeah we are supposed to be updating count divisible for each i that we move from i moving from number one to number two um we need to be return re returning this to zero so let's let me move this count divisible here Cut. so if i move it here and i run this yeah so i have my list of prime numbers between 10 and 20 if i try between 10 and uh, 36 i will have my list of prime numbers here so let's make this one a function because the main objective is to have a function that um, returns a list of prime numbers when you supply two numbers um, so we're going to have let's define here a function define so i'm going to call this page prime search i'm calling it page because of my friend uh, my friend page is the one who motivated me to um, give this tutorial prime search and then we're going to supply num one and number two so this should be inside the function then we return we return primes so let's call this function h prime search and i give it zero zero to twenty okay so it is not returning what we expected let's even this list yeah so the return the return statement is not aligned with the the definition okay let's try again yeah so that is the list of prime numbers between 0 and 20 you can try between 200 and uh, 300 maybe and you have the list of prime numbers between 300 200 and 300 um thank you for watching and if you've liked the video click a like share with a friend
comment on where you think I can make improvements and thank you.